Hi, I'm Fox. Couch Guy. And we have an awesome show for you today. Finally, real hacking on the iPad. Well, it's a real hack, but oh. we're not actually... It's all, ha you know, wrapped up in a nice little bow and it's hand-delivered to you, so all you have to do is click a button. But jailbreaking for the iPad, right. so that you can run all the wonderful apps that are not normally allowed on the iPad. And multitasking. Multitasking. You can enable it now. You don't have to wait until fall for the 4.0 update that gives you fake multitasking. This enables true multitasking. But we probably should give a warning into who should not try to use this. Yes. Now, this is the Spirit Jailbreak, and it is awesome because it works on the iPad, the iPhones, and the iPods running 3.1.2 and 3. But um, it will not let you do an unlock. So if you run this, you will lose your unlock. So if you've already got an unlocked phone, do not run this. Yeah. Unless it's a, a factory unlocked phone, which they're very expensive and almost nobody has. But you can get them in some countries. <laughs> Don't run this if you have an unlocked phone. <laughs> so let's get into the process. But please. first, um, go to medium. Oh, go to medium, please. Yes. Um, Right now, for our uh, viewers, you have a chance to test uh, a free version or a live trial of GoToMeeting.com. From go GoToMeeting.com. Um, slash podcast. Slash podcast. And what it allows you to do is to have a supposed to meeting with you and your coworkers or you and even just friends um, across the internet. Yeah, and it's an online service. You can even um, join in on, on the iPad. They have an iPad app. It's pretty cool stuff. Try it out, go to meeting.com slash podcast. Yeah, get your uh, free trial and see that we're not really uh, joking around. It's yeah. it's actually really cool stuff. Un unlimited meetings for a month, so it's awesome. Uh, so jailbreak. We are going to jailbreak this thing. and This is the fastest jailbreak. He yeah. tells me it's so the fastest one ever. It's, it's really freaking fast. So first, go to download it. We have a in our show notes a link. Which you can find at twosmartguys.com. All right, so download Spirit, plug in your iDevice, and... Wait for it. Click the jailbreak button. And now wait, watch this. Hey, guess what? And... Done. Yeah. It uh, reboots your phone, and it's jailbroken. You'll see a little screen come up that's just, like, a little progress meter here. It's about, about 30 seconds, so the length of a commercial. And by the time it's it's... Done. It's done. And then you'll have um, Cydia installed. So that was my iPhone, and now we're going to do it again on my iPad. Exact now, same process. How long? Did, now tell me, how many seconds? Like, are we talking about like 30, 30 seconds? About 30 seconds. I and that includes a, a restart? Yeah. Or I started up a little bit in this. Just to get it all in so we can, yeah. you know, not be boring. Yeah, but about 30 seconds. and Multitasking at your fingertips. Yes. Which is really cool with the iPad because it didn't have the feature at all before and nothing else worked. Right. Yeah, so you'll get this little icon for Cydia. And you can go in there and you can search for Backgrounder. Backgrounder is the app that will allow you to do multitasking. And uh, be warned, <laughs> this is, you know, experimental-ish. So it could potentially, you know, brick your device temporarily. All you got to do is restore it. So it's not a big deal, but, um, you know, raggable had an iPad, or I, his iPhone bricked this morning. <laughs> oh, is that what he was talking about? Yeah, I mean, it, he just had to restore it, but he personally has not had luck with um, Backgrounder. I, on the other hand, have used it on all my iPhones and iPod devices, and I've never had an issue with it. It works great for me. I use it to play Pandora and then go back out, and I can read my emails and do Twitter and all that while listening to music. That's streaming online, which is something you normally can't do on the iPod phony thingies. Gotcha. Phony. <laughs> but, so it could have bugs in it, but, you know, it, yeah, it works. It works. It works. Uh, and it's always getting better. And then they also allow for, you know, all the apps that aren't allowed on the I, the official iPod store. Okay. iTunes store. I store. App store. That thing that they have. Yeah. So there, you know, there was uh, there was like a podcasting app that let you download podcasts that was originally banned. They put it on on Cydia. Gotcha. Um, you know, there's also like adult themed stuff that they don't allow on there. I guess. Um, so get your porn. People have market. 
for that on there, apparently. Get your porn. Um, there's also a lot of streaming shows that you can get that aren't normally allowed on the App Store because they use up too much bandwidth or whatever. Who knows? A lot of, a lot of cool stuff on there. Do you know what is allowed on the apps or the iTunes store, though? What? You can download this podcast. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Please, subscribe to the feed. Go to, your, your, go to the iTunes store and search for Two Smart Guys. T-O-O, Surprisingly enough, smart guys. hasn't been banned. Yes. Yet. Yet. Yeah. We're still waiting for that one. <laughs> um, so, yeah, download that. Um, It'll automatically be delivered to your device. So this is really cool. Week. Is there anything else about this that we should know? Um, anything else that we should know about this device... Yes, uh, and uh, next, next week we're going to be showing you, every week we do an episode, every Wednesday night, how to enable full screen apps, full screen iPhone apps on the iPad. So they're not just blowing up yeah. and distorting. Yeah, right now if you go into it, you get, a, you get a line doubling and it just, it looks horrendous. The text looks all blocky and it's, it's bad. Uh, after you get a jailbroken device, you can log in, you can change some files, and you can make certain apps... Just change the you know the font size or allow for more text on the screen to fill it. Like when you drag open a web page, it'll you know fill the screen. Yeah. So that's something we'll get into next week. It is quite more detailed process. Yeah, it's a little bit more intense than what we were doing tonight. Yeah. That way it gives everyone a chance to get their stuff broken in, you know, the way they want, and now we'll work on the apps. And of course, um, you know, we'll we'll be doing it live uh, every Wednesday night, next Wednesday night. So. And we've got a whole bunch of other cool uh, tricks in store for different devices. We're going to be showing off how to build your own TriCaster, which is like Don't, a... I wouldn't call it a TriCaster. Well, okay, so your own little studio production box for around $500 instead of... Thousands. Thousands, like $10,000, $10, $20,000. Yeah, because yeah. you don't want to use names because you're really comparing apples and oranges. But a little <laughs> box that can broadcast over the Internet that could be... Casting, yeah, I'm not gonna come up and play with one words right now, but and we still need. We still are gonna build a, a boxy box for free from garbage. Yeah, we haven't really had much time <laughs> to work on that. I'm and sorry. We're, t- we're taste taste testing out the new Mountain Dews still. There's so many of them. It's gonna take us a few more episodes. Yeah, we have three three more uh, Mountain Dews came out on the market, so we got to do another show. So that's gonna be five total Mountain Dew shows by the time we're done, and we just barely released number two. And Beyond the Clipping Plane, which is our you know our web series. They're still making. They're still making that show. Yeah. We just finished this year before <laughs> episode seven, and we have yet to release episode eight. Nice. And we have to finish up uh, eight and nine before in the next two weeks are up. Because <laughs> they're actually. Hey, <laughs> guess what? I might be able to shoot that one of these nights. Anyway, uh, we'll talk about that right. later. Anyways, we'll see you guys. Next wait, wait, week. wait. We have we have one more person to talk what? about. Huh? What? Well, you can't have this without. It's like virgin and vanilla. I want something on the back here. I don't like this. Oh, yeah, especially after you um, jailbreak it. Because it's no longer this. Yes. Um, so we need someone to make a really cool sticker or make a really cool T-shirt. Um, and where can they do that? Oh, Zazzle. Zazzle.com. So right now um, with Zazzle.com, um, you can design your own stuff or you can buy the stuff they already have there. And if you go there and put two smart guys... You get ten percent off every order, fifty dollars or more, and that'll get you five bucks. Yeah, you know, so you can make a whole, you can make a whole bunch of stickers, and you can tag everything. And if you make a cool enough T-shirt for the Two Smart Guys show, we'll get them, put them on the show. Yeah, you can you can sell the stuff that you make. Yeah. So I mean, you don't even have to physically buy it. You can just make it and and tell people to buy it. Pimp your goods. Yeah, that's pretty cool so, stuff. So check it out. Um, Zazzle.com. Zazzle.com. Two Smart Guys. That's the code. Um, if you want to find out, out, if you forget that, just remember go to TwoSmartGuys.com. The, uh, the the codes on the website. Yep. All right, so, now I'm done. Okay. Now, now you're done. I'm That's done. the end. There's nothing. There's nothing left. I can't there's think no... of anything else I want to share on the internet. This has been a Two Smart Guys production.